everyone, this is Chica from the Samosa Budget. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video is going to be a week five check-in slash month recap for April. Because it was basically a four day week, I didn't actually print another week check-in um, expense tracker and check-in. So I thought what I would do is just add up week five into Sunday. So let's just go ahead and put those in. Normally I would write them in black, but I'm gonna write them in a different color. So then I know it's part of another week. On the 28th, which is Tuesday, we went to the fruit and veg shop. So I'm just gonna write fruit and veg. Um, and we spent 12 pounds. I also made a purchase which came out of my allowance on eBay, which was for Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover book. Um, I'm quite curious about it. It comes up a lot in some YouTube channels that I watch and obviously Dave Ramsey is well known, but I thought it'd be really, really interesting to actually read the Total Money Makeover book right now whilst we're on lockdown. So I made a purchase off of eBay because it was cheaper than Amazon really. On the 29th, we had two purchases. We had to buy some more cat food because we were running low for the month. The shop that we get it from is called Embark on Raw. And that was 48 pounds. Um, 48 pounds gives us 10 tubs of food and it basically around five kilos. It works out to be five kilos, which is what we've calculated that our cat needs on based on his body weight. That is obviously April spend. We'll just have to buy food for him at the end of May because this food should last him through most of May. And then we also had another purchase of cigarette. I seem to be smoking more whilst we are on lockdown. So we had one, two, three, four four transactions and I'm just going to put them straight into the month check-in pay here for week five. So for food, I'm just gonna put 12 pounds. The book comes out of my allowance, which is part of fun. And then cigarettes is 21 and then 48 for my cap. So then now we're just gonna add up all of the weeks, all of the expenses we had to give us a month total. I might fast forward you through this because I tend to make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so here I have totaled up all of the variable categories. Sometimes I like to go back and check where I think there's a big figure, just to refresh my mind on what it was. This figure for 110, I'm just gonna look back and see sort of what that was, really. Okay, so if I swing back to week one check-in, I can see we had to buy some genie cartridges for his litter. We actually also bought two boxes of litter and then one month worth of food, which is why it was 110, so that's fine. We only need to buy those genie cartridges maybe once a year with one cat, so that's perfectly fine. And now what I'm gonna do is, now that I've got the month total for variable, I have also got the budget column, which is the original plan set at the beginning of the month. And this doesn't really change, and this is always good for me to have because in YNAB, which is what we use, we will tweak the categories as we go when we overspend and underspend, like to cover. So I'm just gonna get my red pen out because I foresee some overspending. So for food, our budget was 350 and we spent 422.28. So we were over, so I'm gonna put it in red because it's over. I'm just gonna do, okay. And then for fun, the budget was 150 and we spent 125. So, oh God, why did I do that? I don't know why I put the pound sign in. I obviously know I'm in England. And then for fuel, we underspent, what am I doing? Okay, did you guys notice? We did, didn't you? We were not overspent for fuel, so that should have been... Do you know what? With these friction pens, I am not a fan of the way that they write. I love the fact that they're erasable. For fuel, we spent 44, our budget was 100, so we've got 56 left. And then we were quite over for eating out. We basically spent double, so that was 62 over. And then we spent 
nothing for the household, so that's £20. And then we were a little bit over for home day call, so £12.75 over. At this point, I don't even know what we bought. And then here we were £19 over. And then here we were... We are keeping £20 aside, so we've got 30 left. For Kitty, the budget was 120 and we spent 158 So I'm going to put £38 over. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I always do this. So here, you can see that there's... One, two, three, four, five. There's five reds. One, two, three, four. And four greens. So what I'm going to do now is just get a net. So that's, at this point, I'm going to add up all the greens and then take away all of the reds. So that gives us one, three, one, which we had left from underspending. And then I'm going to take these away and we're still going to be, we're going to be in negative, but that's fine. Okay, so our overspend for this month is £73, three pence. Most of that, as you can see, is coming from food. If you watch my previous budget video, I'll link it up here, my budget video, sorry, my weekly check-in, you'll see that we're also purchasing for my parents. So they gave us some money to help towards those costs. They gave us £89.80. I'm not sure how I should write this, but basically that cancels out this overspending. So if I just do plus 89, 80, that leaves us fine, like in, with, well, not a lot of money, but 16 pounds 77 left. So it means that overall the budget was fine. What does this mean now? So what we do now is I use these figures to work out if I need to take some money out for May, as I'll also be filming a May budget with me, which won't have gone up yet, but after this video. It means I will increase some categories where I, I'm seeing some overspending. And in some cases, like this £20 household, we didn't actually spend any, but I would still keep some money there because, you know, you run out of paper towels and things like that. Eating out was just... I mean, 122 isn't that bad, but if the plan was 60, maybe that's not realistic. So we'll see. Fuel for next month, I'm gonna keep at 60, just in case my husband has to go back to work. We just don't know. So I'd rather have a little bit of money there. For fun, we budget 150, and that includes 50 pound allowances for both of us, and then 50 pounds for stationery, which includes things like paper, ink, like we've got a instant ink subscription, if we need any supplies or things like that. So I wanna keep that money there. But for now, I would say for £16.77 within budget, I would say that's that's a decent month for us. We also hit our goal to save £200 with the Budget Mom Savings Challenge. That is great. That money is going into our emergency fund and also any, like, this, I know this isn't much, but we'll be adding this to our emergency fund as well. So, so these are our variable categories, but I will also include a summary of April spending and April savings, which will show other areas of our budget, which I don't go through here, but I'm trying to prepare for doing a May budget with me, and that's gonna go live later on this week. So please remember to check out for that. All in all, April was an interesting month for us in terms of personal work and finance. I will do another video to go more into that sort of mysterious declaration. But I'm hoping that you guys had a good April. I'm going to leave this video here and I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I'd really appreciate it if you did subscribe and hit the thumbs up button to show me that you're enjoying this content. And I'll speak to you later. Bye!